Good afternoon guys, it's Jaeger262 and welcome back to World of Tanks. So again, this is just going to be a quick video. I haven't actually put up a lot regarding the festival and the reason for that is because they're just not that interesting, I think. Uh, I think Aruba was up there one day. Um, another, the uh, Stritzvon S1, just a bunch of basic tier 8 and then in there sprinkle like today was the Soma SM or this, the Mutant. So I'm sorry I haven't been covering those, but I finally, finally, finally got my M6A2E1, otherwise known as the Mutant. It's been rebalanced after preparing matchmaking, raising one for armor, each one of the rare, rare, rare vehicles. Not more, but it used to be part of the original three light tank, medium tank, heavy tank packages way back in 2011 when the game first released. And so I've been trying to get one of these since I started playing about six and a half years ago, seven years ago. And thanks to the festival fair, I finally got my own. And I hope that anybody else, at least out there, which is actually day two or day three. So I hope you guys, if you want it or you are interested in this tank, do put it on the pending purchases um, tab to pick one up later or you actually got it like I did. Not too much in the world that you can do, so we're just gonna, you know, play through this game and see how it is. It's not the best game ever, but it was, I think, my second game in this vehicle, and I love it a lot. So I kind of just snapped that shot to the one ten. Before, I think it has the same gun as the T-34 heavy tank, and it does approximate damage, but I did not expect that shell to penetrate where it did, so that was fun. Um, trying to see what he's gonna do. Trying to find out what the item is, and he actually puts one, I think he just bounced that off my gun because that was HE, and yeah, I'm trying to get a shot on the I-6B now. Uh, the one that is the Japanese tier 8 medium, I forget what that is. Everybody's kind of ignoring the IS-6, but there's not a lot you can get in from that position unless it comes all the way up and it changes speed and bar one to ten. But you never know what people do. He might rush. And so this is just this position here. The E9 line is the notorious for heavy tanks. It's just where they go. And I'm trying to find a way to brawl, but always point this thing frontal first. And I know that sounds weird because you're obviously wanting to do that all the time always, but that front armor is not pointing at your target. You will get penetrated by anything at tier 8 and tier 7 because you got to remember, this is still the same M6 hull. So it's still a tier 6 hull in a tier 8 game. The only difference is that massive uh, flat plate there. I'm going to try to get a shot on him. He doesn't have to pay attention to the other on the side. I'm going to try to ram him into the water. And you'll see this is this one in my part. I get nailed by the squirt and the T-34 feet. And I don't even get to secure the kill shot on to the IS-60. So, massive display. Obviously, you never want to charge opponents like that. Especially in a heavy tank right now. I did it just because, again, I'd never played the Mutant before, so really wanted to test out. There it is, the flat frontal plate. That is the biggest part of the vehicle, and the Squirt is one of our few vehicles that can actually play. So hit the Squirt for 272, kind of a low roll. Auto aiming, which again, I would advise, but I just want to play out for the downside, so I just did it and it worked out. So only 982 damage right now. Not a really great start to this game this vehicle. Considering that the 34 B had had some games where you reach 900 on the first minute and he's that thing from monster. What makes this one so hard is that the P34 has really great armor all around. Not as good as this one in the front, but good enough that you're able to So, it's just, 
it's a it's a monster of a tank. This vehicle is, but only in the one respect that it's got great and a great So right now I am trying to keep my focus on the Luba, the Progetto. I know the EVP is about to probably to circle back to base to fight us. Or he's gonna go all the way after the A line. And since that's a 50 50 chance, I'm kind of not going to be able to concede my now the two things that I think he may be using up and help them. I decided to make that call the worst case scenario and bring him to the F because I know that if he hasn't been spotted yet by at least his physical engagement, he's probably coming to the top of the rock. So I want to be ready for that. Yeah, can't penetrate the front door. Again, I'm going to stress that throughout this whole video why I like this tank so much because it's so good to play. Is that as long as you're in front of the tank and your opponent can penetrate, be fine, provided that they don't have the crazy penetration or APCR rounds of like a scorpion. So the Vortex moving up is going to engage the Bulldog for whatever reason. I don't know why. He didn't just sit in the cap with me. But I don't want to risk it. It's 10 v 8, and so this could be an easy win if we push together and I had actually followed the 110. But I have less than half my hit points because of that mistake that I made earlier, and I don't have a lot of damage yet, and I'm not planning on getting a lot of damage. So I'm just trying to sit here in the back and cap. You can see our Canavran has, ha has the same idea. And so I just, I'm just going to sit here and cap. As you can see there, that's what it's uh, actually penetrated was right in the As you can see with the Progetto, anything can penetrate the side. I was not actually paying attention. I didn't think the Progetto was going to double back like that. And so I am waiting for him, or I'm waiting to reload and have my track repair. So I'm kind of let STA one die and feel real bad about it. So now I'm going to wait here and you can see the M41 is going to cry and come around and flank me, and so since I know that the Progetto is not a good penetrate and actually do anything, I'm going to rush him and secure the kill, and then quickly try and hope for one tank so that he can get the fire off the side, which he does, he just killed him, and so after that, I'm going to go to race around the corner, and then he is going to get that kill as well, he spots me, and that was it, that was the last kill of the game, and so all around, Pretty good game. So, yeah, sorry, it was a replay, but oh well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll post more World of Tanks videos coming up shortly. Really love the mutant. Hope you guys are having fun with the festival fair. And as always, I will see you next time.